Hello again, it's Mark Jeffries here, the I'm a Celebrity Correspondent. Uh, I don't know how your day is going, but if you're Matt Hancock, I don't think it's going particularly well. Uh, as I say, the story is only a couple of hours old and uh, the backlash has been quite immediate and uh, quite deafening, really. There's a lot of outrage, there's a lot of anger. Um, whether, whether he's thought this through or whether he was expecting this sort of reaction, uh, obviously we don't know until we get to speak to him. But um, yeah, just, just to sort of run you through what's happened since uh, since it emerged this morning that that he uh he'd signed up from a celebrity he was suspended as a conservative mp um the tory chief whip said it was serious enough to warrant suspension and then you've got comments coming in from all sides uh, andy drummond the deputy chairman of the west suffolk conservative association said he's looking forward to seeing matt hancock eating a kangaroo's penis and that he can be quoted on that um the smp mp Pete Wishart, he said, it speaks volumes that Matt Hancock would rather be stranded in a remote jungle eating kangaroo testicles than spend a moment longer in the Tory benches at Westminster as Richie Sunak's government lurches from one crisis to another. So another glowing endorsement there. Um, you've also got the Shadow Health Secretary, Andrew Gwynn, and he says, to be fair to Matt Hancock, I'd sooner eat wallaby anus than be a Tory MP too. Um, there is a slightly more serious, serious note. Um, there's another comment from the Labour MP, Chris Bryant, and he chairs the Common Standards Committee. And he said on Twitter, there's something deeply unpleasant about the former health secretary playing around in the jungle when his constituents are facing a cost of living crisis and long COVID sufferers are looking for answers from the inquiry. Um, so there is a quite a strong sense of feeling that this is the wrong thing to do uh, while you're still a serving MP. Um, yeah, there is there is criticism piling in really from all all corners, um, and as I say, he has been suspended as a as a Conservative MP. So uh, yeah, he, he's not even uh, as far as we know not landed in Australia yet, and certainly obviously not gone into the jungle yet. The show doesn't start until Sunday night on ITV. Um, but but the strength of feelings there, and uh, yeah, it, it seems it seems a controversial move by him, and uh, yeah, unsurprisingly, uh, there is some outrage.